Last week, Assembly Speaker Vincent Prado and West New York Mayor Felix Roque were among the dignitaries who honored the leaders of Cuba's Women in White movement, a group of females peacefully protesting on behalf of male relatives being held as political prisoners. Prado, who came to Hudson County from Cuba when he was 11 years old, praised the women for continuing to fight for what is right in his homeland. Uh, it's a great honor and pleasure to be here today for you know these ladies that have the courage that is incredible what they do and shine a light on the problem that there's in Cuba. Coming almost at the same age as the doctor, uh, almost 11 years old, with a single mother that decided to leave the country for a better life for me, which I've been able to navigate and realize, in my opinion, the American dream, that's something that's not afforded to the people in Cuba. We take a lot of things for granted here, and our civil liberties is something that we should never take for granted something that every day these people are oppressed and not allowed to have a voice, be able to say what they want, you know, um, uh, have an entrepreneurship, being able to succeed. These are things that are not afforded to them, and this is something that's not right. Berta Soler, the leader of the Women in White movement, spoke about her struggles in Spanish before those hosting the event took questions from the media. Responding to a question from Hudson County View, Roque revealed that Soler was actually arrested for protesting last week, delaying her trip to New Jersey. My understanding was that Ms. Soler was arrested the other day during one of these routine walks or marches. Is that correct? Or could you just put a little um, information about that out there? Well, what happened, uh, the way she explained it to me, they knew already that she was coming to the United States. They already knew that she was going to be meeting with me here in this country. Uh, they actually called, uh, called my name over there. And uh, so they basically delayed her flight uh, in jail. So she wouldn't make it on time, but she did. And you know what? It, she, she was a, a day late, but here we are, and we're still continuing to do what we need to do. Furthermore, the women were recognized at the Children First Board of Education fundraiser on Thursday, where the mayor was outspoken and talking up their courage. Uh, these are my two heroes next to me. These are the ladies in white. You hear about them. They're the freedom uh, fighters uh, in Cuba. Uh, their husbands uh, are jailed, incarcerated, uh, they are there to protect those people that are not, uh, they're in jail, the political prisoners. And when you hear that Cuba is free, it's not true. And they'll tell you that it's not true. They get abused, beaten, uh, oppressed on a daily basis. And for a simple reason, they want democracy, they want freedom of expression, they want uh, the way of life that we actually take for granted uh, and enjoy in this great country. So the ladies in white, that's what they're there for, and I am honored, I'm going to now say it in Spanish, but I am extremely honored to meet women with ovaries as big as they have, because it takes a lot. I'm John Hydus with the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.